Yo 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 <laughs> to be picking up knowledge from, and yeah, hopefully we're gonna win some games. Okay, he goes Valkyrie. Let me go Expo opposite lane oh, in hopes he doesn't have like five tanks. Okay, he has Pekka. We're gonna stop it like that. Go Archers to DPS it down. Log. Yeah, I mean we we had a chance there. I'll probably go Knight. Like. Right there. Okay, what does he have? Arrows, Pekka, Valkyrie. What is this deck though? Like, it's not a Pekka Bridge spam deck. Oh, that was a terrible cannon. But I can't really punish it because I, I, I feel like I'm down elixir from that um, little knight that I played on a Valkyrie. So let's go this bridge here. Okay, let's fireball those archers. That's, that's free. XC. Okay, let's split up archers on the back. I I, I I don't know what this deck is, but I, I feel like we're gonna... We have a pretty good chances there, you know, in this game. I'll go skeletons here. Okay. Let's go like that. And place archers here. Unfortunately, they will die, but... I don't think I could have done something better. Maybe I could have. I mean, we're still up damage, so it's, it's all good. Okay, he goes for Valkyrie in the back. I'll go Expo. That was a terrible cannon. I think I'll fireball. Yep. I'll go Tesla here. Hopefully we'll damage Valkyrie when it's on the tower. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. Um, pretty good. Pretty good, we got damage. Let's go Tesla up high. If he goes for X, yeah, I'm gonna go X bow in the middle. Okay. Go with that. I mean, I meant if he goes XC on, on a Tesla, if he didn't, if he didn't do that, so we good. Split up Archers once again, you know, just playing it safe. Since we're playing Expo, you know, we got damage, just defend the whole game. And we look good. Play Log on the Archers. Fireball in the tower. Go expo the opposite lane because he got a lot of damage uh, on our lane here. Let's go for knight in the middle. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Go Tesla up very very high because he has lightning. Oh fuck. That was pretty bad, but it's fireball. Since he just played his um, lightning on nothing, I lost the archers. I lock his archers. Let's go Let's it here. Just cycle skeletons. Let's go Tesla very very up high. Okay, pretty good. Another Tesla fireball here. Yep. Log here. Cycle so back to another fireball. It's Tesla. A 
And yeah, that's that's how you beat Pekka, I guess. <laughs> Just get a little bit of damage and spam defensive buildings on, until the very end of the game. That's how you play Expo, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, first game was pretty easy. But that's only because he didn't really have um, the... What it's called? Damage dealer. What it's called? Win condition. Yeah, okay. He only had like Pekka and a lot of spammy units and like, like Pekka Lightning deck. No like Battle Ram or like Magic Archer NATO. So we just we got some damage and we just stayed there defending the whole game and we won because of that. Because he didn't have anything to deal damage with. Since he didn't play anything, let me go Expo. Okay, giant skeleton. That's probably like the hog deck. Giant skeleton is very annoying, to be honest. I'll go for skeletons here. Yep. Okay, that's pretty good. That was a bad. Uh, that was a bad bomb tower. I'll go expo opposite lane with a knight, like that. I shoved it up too high, though. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Okay, it has Earthquake too. That's good to know. Let's go Tesla. So, yeah, Giant Skeleton Hog Rider deck with Earthquake. Bomb Tower. That's gonna be hard to break through, but we, we already broke through, so we're gonna have to defend our game once again. Yep, that's how you play Expo. You know, got, got some damage. Buckle up. And defend the whole game. That's that rough reality right there. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Spirit Archer is in the back. Okay. Uh, I thought Arnai would kill. Musketeer, but it didn't. It doesn't really matter. Since we defended, and that's that's our goal. So we're looking pretty good today. Today, yeah, in this game, that's what I meant. Let's put archers in the bag, you know, just playing it chill. Go expo like that, so he can earthquake the tower he got damage on. Yep. And since he earthquake like that, I can go Tesla in the middle. Let's go with Spirit here, just in case something weird happens with the giant skeleton bomb. Yeah, let's fireball that. It's a free fireball right here. Yep, let's go Expo in this lane once again. I'll go Archers here. Oh, that was a bad Tesla. Yeah, it's fine. Hopefully one hit only. Yeah. That was a bad Tesla though. Let's fireball that. Uh, I have no hopes of breaking through, so I'm just gonna fireball. Even though, like, it just gave me a bunch of elixir in that push. But I can't really do anything. Let's go Expo uh, right here once again, so, so he can not earthquake. Okay. Since he earthquakes here, let's go Tesla in the middle. Let's go log here. And we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Go let's go here. And I'll go Tesla high predicting the hog rider. Yep. There it goes. Log. Let's get some damage. Cycle here, yep. Since he just speed speed ran. Yeah, hopefully he gave up. Hopefully that was a given up earthquake right there. Yep. Yeah, he I mean he has a lot of chances in this game if he's like managing to out cycle my like I, I don't know what to tell. Like it's hard. It's hard if I'm defending right, but you know, he has a lot of potential in this game, you know, since Giant Skeleton is very is very strong and Hog Rider plus Giant Skeleton, you know, Giant, Giant Skeleton push-offs can be devastating and 
he had a lot of chances considering he had an earthquake. But he just, I guess he didn't use it right, so that's why we won. And we won also because we just got a lot of damage in the very beginning of the game. So yeah, we got lucky there. Let's go with archers in the back. You know, simple. Archers in the back, skeletons in the back. Okay, goes Valkyrie in the back. We're gonna go um, Knight in the back. Answering the Valkyrie. Hog Rider once again, okay. Okay, Princess, I'm gonna log it. And I'm gonna go Expo at zero. Yep, that's not gonna do shit. And my Expo is gonna do, is gonna do like, billion damage. Yeah. Once again, a pretty good start for me. Here, yep. Pull it back. So both of my archers are alive and had to be answered. It goes for the log. So spellbait with Pekka. Yeah, that is an interesting matchup. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'll keep the log from now on though. I'll fireball that. I think that's that's the Phoenix. You can go Tesla up high, answering both Princess and Phoenix. Potential Princess at the bridge. And the Phoenix is just dying. And the Princess will die. Because it's not like eye tower or cannon when it's like staying up all the time. I'll go this bridge here to target the princess shot. I'll go skeletons, just in case. I'll go Knight here. I didn't want it to lock on, but it's fine. One Princess shot is nothing scary. That's fireball value. We're taking this, like, always. That was a bad Princess by him. I'll, I kinda just wanna cycle back to, you know, defend a potential... Uh, I don't think he has Earthquake or anything, so I'm gonna go Expo here. Do I take this Fireball or do I play Tesla? I don't know, I'll take Fireball now, since I have enough Elixir to play the Tesla. Yeah, so if he goes for the Hog Rider, yep, I can do that. That was a good spirit, you know, defending like everything. Ah, oh, that was a bad night. It's fine. Kill the Egg. Fireball that. Go like that, and, and Tesla here, plus skeletons, plus log, defending the barrel, and we only need a fireball to win this game. So yeah, pretty easy. Uh, and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be off for the last game right now. Hopefully we're gonna win this one too, and you know, <laughs> say our goodbyes. You know, if you like the videos, leave commentary. By the way, you know, leave a like down below. Leave a like, leave a comment down below, and you know, thumbs up, because you know, left thumbs is up. <laughs> a lot of, you know, commentary videos because I I, I kind of wanted to record like two on on the last week, but I just I just didn't have enough time. Plus, it was very like rainy and thundery. <laughs> thundery is that even a word? Like, uh, for a whole week and my internet connection was just whack like i couldn't play the game basically yeah we're gonna we're gonna cut this waiting out though oh never mind we just we just found the game so yeah playing against king sun this is gonna be our last game for this video and yeah you know tell me by the way in the comments what uh was your first deck that you started playing uh clash royale with were you like creating your own deck or like uh, were you just looking for content create creators and their decks because I personally when I just started I was just making weird ass decks and I didn't really succeed and then I left the game for like for like years uh, but then I came back you know uh, I've seen some best in a videos and he inspired me to play Expo 3.0 
But then he left. Then there was Aragon and Baby Nate. And I really like Baby Nate's video, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Modern Control now because uh, since they're uploading videos consistently, I can look at their gameplay and learn something new. And since Bestinay is not doing his videos, I'm like, okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna abandon 3.0 Expo, but I don't know if, if that was a good decision or not. Because there's like that was a bad magic button. That was yeah, that was bad. Since it doesn't target, since it doesn't hit the tower. But yeah, I kind of forgot he had a magic archer, so yeah, I didn't play well too. Let's go archers here. Hopefully, okay, none of them hits magic archer. That's pretty, pretty sad. Okay, let's go like that. I didn't expect the second ma magic archer shot here. I expected only one, but it's it's fine. Should have placed the knight earlier. And yeah, what, what was I talking about? I completely forgot. <laughs> I was like defending and I, it just slipped out of my mind. But yeah, I guess content creators, you know, they... They make it so the game is like popular because when I, you know, started playing I was losing a lot since my decks were complete ass. Like, I was running some P.E.K.K.A. like, Hog Rider Golem decks. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I was like, okay, this card costs a lot of elixir. That means this card is pretty good. I'm gonna use it. And yeah, and because because of that, I was losing like a lot of games. There was a lot of frustration, and I just abandoned it. Then I almost abandoned the game because uh, it was very like not paid to win, but you know, grindy. I had to grind a lot of levels. That's you know, it's it's pretty devastating. By the way, next video I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna record it now, pre-record it. I'm gonna be talking about all this, you know, new updates and all this crap. Because, you know, this stuff needs to be addressed, I think. Since it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. Oh the Tesla was hitting him. Oh. Oh, since it's it's Tesla, it's it's gonna it's gonna, you know, go down if an and, and the magic archer is gonna come into the range of the Tesla. I'm so used to play high tower that I'm making bad plays with Tesla now. But it's fine, you know. Good uh, arrows. I'll go Expo. Okay, that was not good. Yeah, okay. We're gonna lose this one. <laughs> I completely, like, forgot about the Inferno Dragon being, you know, uh, you need to answer him, you know, uh, otherwise he's gonna get like a billion damage on, on the tower. It's not gonna be good for you. But, yeah. The next video I'm gonna talk about all the updates of the Supercell made, why I quit it, the original Flash Rail game. Because, you know... It's not a pretty popular topic, and, you know, amongst my view. That was a bad task line. It's just, it's in range of the death bomb. Yeah, this game I completely threw. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give up though, but maybe maybe I still have a chance if I'll Yeah, I don't have any chances here, to be honest. Yeah. Never mind, never mind, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, we're gonna lose this game. Yeah, priest too, okay, yeah. I don't know if that was like a counter deck. Like I think I just misplaced um, the Inferno Dragon, like, I didn't reply to it quite well, that's why I lost. But, you know, you can never, like, win all the games, you, you kind of have to lose, you know, at times, so the game is interesting. Uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully you learned something <laughs> of my of, of my weird-ass commentary, comment, comment, what, yeah, I can't say words. It's hard to be talking for 20 minutes straight in your second language, yeah, yeah, it's, second, it's in my second language. Uh, so my brain gets a little messy, you yeah, know, no. uh, and, you know, <laughs> thinking about the game and plays is also not, you know, easy to, since I'm trying to, you know, make good plays, win some games, but it's fine, you know, I, I don't mind losing, I... 
tend to play some wacky decks with like 2.6 2. Hulk Rider, but it's minor instead of Hulk. I've, I've got a bunch of videos on my channel <laughs> with that kind of gameplay, or like 2.6, but it's Rocket Psycho. When it, instead of a Hog Rider, I'll just I just have Rocket, <laughs> and I'm just pl placing Rocket like straight up from the beginning of the game. These videos are on his channel too; you can find them. So yeah, it was it was quite fun. Uh, hopefully the sound recorded. Hopefully everything is good, because that would be weird. Like imagine video ended like ninety minutes, forty seconds or so, and here it goes for another like minute. <laughs> This is weird. Okay, I'm not doing that. She's outro, intro, outro this time. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Love you guys. Peace. Hey, yo, hey, yo, after, after the recording, yo. Uh, not peace, because I'm playing 3.0 Expo right here, you know? Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>